Hey guys, so it is meal number one of the day. Excuse the hair, just got up. It is now 8.30 in the morning and I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna to head to the gym with the new program. So I need to make sure I get fired up for that heavy leg day and yeah, might take a while, but no work today, so I can take my time with it. Heavy leg day, I'll talk about it more in a little bit later on in the clip, but breakfast, this is what I'm having. So I've got two servings of cocoa pops with uh, two servings of milk, uh, skimmed milk, and then I've got half a scoop of whey protein, and that's what I'm going to have. So I'm going to get that down me, get ready for the gym and head off to the gym, take my free workout. How's it going guys? Here we are again in the gym and this episode now I am changing things up again. Starting a new program, switching it up, trying something completely new that I've never done before. Um, you'll know from my previous videos I have been loving um, the strength style program training. I've been doing it at the minute, I've been loving getting new PRs and increasing all my main compound lifts so I've decided to switch things up again for this bulk I'm going to be doing um, Johnny Candito's linear program which is a strength program a lot of powerlifting programs are very popular at the minute but what he has got is a strength and hypertrophy program which is more towards the bodybuilding style and where I don't consider myself much as a bodybuilder I do want an all-round physique so that's why I'm going to choose this program and see how it goes. So the footage you're seeing here is from day one, it's a four day split and it's a um, heavy lower body day so there's only four exercises for this day but it's a lot of volume when you incorporate all the warm up sets that you do do, that I do do, that I did. So starting off with squats. Now the workout just asks for three sets of six reps, but I did about four warm-up sets as well, so it does add up the volume. And here on the bar, I'm doing my warm-up sets now, just really concentrating on opening up my hips and trying to work on my depth like I have been working on lately. I do feel I'm gonna to have to get some um, weightlifting shoes with the raised heel to help me get better depth because of my tightness in my calves I feel so that's what I'm going to try and um, here you see my first working set now this working set for all three of the sets of six reps was at 100 kg 220 pounds and it actually how was that it actually did completely drain me but I feel the fact that six rep range and really try to concentrate on my form and my depth even though on some of these I'm still only just going about parallel I will improve on that guys, that is something I am going to work on. Like I say, maybe get some um, proper weightlifting shoes to squat in, we'll see. Usually I do squat in my Converse, but I've got my running shoes on, which is a stupid thing for me to do. It's not the best type of shoe to squat in, but anyway, all three sets were at 100kg, 220 pounds, and then after that you move on to deadlifts, and that's just two sets of six reps. And as this was my first day doing the program, I didn't want to put a weight where it's too heavy so I can't progress. What I wanted to do was make sure I picked a weight which is heavy, but I could get the rep range which is six reps again. So uh, for the deadlifts as well, I did 100 kg, which is 220 pounds. The two sets of six, and from there each week I can increase now and progress up the weights and hopefully hit some new PRs sometime soon. Um, after this guy, so after the deadlifts, it, it, the program calls for two additional exercises of my choosing. Now because it's lower body, something I really do like to do is the leg press machine. I really feel it in the legs, in the muscle. So I did do three sets of eight reps on the leg press machine, followed by leg extensions again, three sets of 12 reps on that one. And that is totally it for the heavy lower body day, guys. The next workout I've got to look forward to, guys, will be a strength upper body day which will be full upper body heavy workout so that will be a fun workout to see how I manage. I might start including more intra-workout carbs because they are quite intense these workouts 
and that's it for this the workout footage now guys so I'll let it play out and I'll see you in the next clip but please like share and subscribe comment below if you have any comments to make feel free always contact me guys not never a problem and I'll see you in the next clip bye How's it going guys? So it's a little bit after one and it's time for favourite time of the day, post-workout meal. I am starving, heavy, heavy session at the gym and time to refeed. So this is what I'm having. Look at that. How good does that look? Now I've got two rations of turkey bacon, one whole egg, two slices of wholemeal toast two reduced fat sausages and half a tin of reduced sugar and salt baked beans. So that's what I'm going to have. That whole meal is about 60 grams of carbs, probably about 50 odd grams of protein and only 13 grams of fat. So compared to a normal fry up, that's a hell of a lot healthier. So I'll enjoy the spoil. So it's a little bit later on guys and I am having another snack. I'll show you what I'm having. It's just a pretty simple, boring sandwich. Um, 100 grams of wafer thin cooked chicken with two slices of wholemeal bread and one serving of extra low fat, no, extra, extra low fat mayonnaise. And I'm also going to have a couple of these. So I'm also going to have a couple of these and that is each one is 38 calories, half a gram, no 1.3 grams of fat and each one is, each one has 8.1 grams of carbs. I'll probably have four or five rice cakes because at the minute I'm on, 300, I'm on 299 grams of carbs, that's including the sandwich, 25 grams of fat and 148 grams of protein. So I've got about another 100 grams of carbs to go, 50 grams of, oh, 45 to 50 grams of fat and about 50 grams of protein left for the day and it's this guy. There you go, Humorous Fitness. Oh, just watching. So I'm just watching his video on should I push to failure when I lift and it's actually a really good topic because some people just follow which is what he says in the video so if you haven't seen the video go and check out his video but and check out his channel he's an awesome guy. Funny videos and good content. He posts like every day on one of his other channels. Um, but yeah, should you pass uh, push past failure or oh, should you push to failure when you lift me I agree yeah you should and what he says in the video is about people just get in the head that they should be doing these 8 to 12 rep ranges but and they're not pushing themselves to failure on the sets they're just doing them rep ranges but with them rep ranges what you need to understand is you should be putting it to, my personal opinion anyway you should be putting a weight on that you should be pushing yourself with a weight where them 8 to 12 rep ranges is pushing you to failure. That's what I think anyway. So I've been doing this for a while now. So I know if I'm following a program and say I have six reps to hit, I know roughly in my head in whatever movement I'm doing, what weight will push me to failure on that certain exercise in that rep range. And that's what experience gives you. So for now, if you're following a workout routine and it says 12 reps, 8 to 12 reps, and you go to 12 easily, either you need to increase the rep, the the weight so that it's a little bit difficult, more difficult for you, or if you know you've got a few more in the tank, just push them out. There's not nothing wrong with push yourself to failure. Obviously, do it safely, guys. You don't want to be on a bench press pushing yourself to failure and dropping the bar on yourself. If you ain't got a spot. Just remember, play it safe. 
but yeah i do that's how i train but check out his video anyway guys it's a it's a good watch check out his channel hey guys how's it going so it is now probably my final full meal of the day i will work out the proper calories in a little while but i'll show you what i'm having so this is what i'm having got chicken broccoli with a uh, creamy mushroom sauce mm -hmm. and, garlic. and garlic so that's what I'm going to have with a absolute zero monster that should put me more or less I had about 30 grams of fat left so that should put me more or less up on the fat and the protein and the carbs if I'm a bit low on the carbs I'll have a few more rice cakes I did have two more rice cakes before this meal because I'm impatient and I get hungry so I will eat this guys, watch a bit of The Office, maybe, if I'm allowed. If you're allowed. Uh, and I'll, I'll work out the macros for the day after I've eaten this, so catch in a bit. Hey guys, so I was a little bit under on my carbs for the day, so I'm going to finish these off. There's probably about four rice cakes in here, which will be... Come on. Probably about an extra 30 grams of carbs, which will put me more or less about 400 grams. So I'm going to have them for, and then that'll be it for the day. So I will have ended on 64 grams of fat, about 390 grams of carbs, and 192 grams of protein. I will just show you that. I've not yet put in the carbs that I'm going to get from the rice cake, but as when I do, it will take it to about 390, 64 grams of fat, 192 grams of carbs. You seen? I am now on the Candido linear program, so. Hopefully that will bring a lot of strength gains and hopefully bring up my skinny ass legs as you could see in the workout video before because they are ridiculous. I think I've probably got skinnier legs than Max Tuning even though that guy can lift. So skinny legs but hopefully they'll grow. So I'm going to give the program at least a try for six weeks guys. Uh, see how it goes. I really do like increasing the strength and just hitting new PRs. That'll end it for the day guys. Uh, legs are starting to hurt already from that workout this morning. Quite intense and it's going to be another one again tomorrow. Heavy upper body. If you like the video guys please like it. Show your support. Help people find the video as well. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. More content every Thursday. Lean mass. That's it for now. So I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye for now.